good morning students today i am going to teach you the chapter seeds and seeds myself shrimati mamta dhingra target learning outcomes are observes different types of seeds observes the different stages in germination of seeds to know the parts of seed to understand the condition necessary for a seed to sprout or to germinate to know dispersal of seeds and agents involved in seed dispersal seeds are of different shapes sizes colors and textures you can see here a number of seeds are there and they are of different colors different sizes and different textures some fruits have many seeds but some has a single seed here you can see that this fruit mango has a single seed like mango many other fruits are there who have one seed only now you can see the picture of papaya and watermelon papaya and watermelon have a number of seeds or we can say they have many seeds some seeds are used as grains you can see at your home grains like rice wheat bajra millet etc here you can see uh, cereals or grains they are oats wheat rice corn then millet and barley so these are the examples of cereals seeds are also used as spices you can see a number of spices in your kitchen so these all spices are seeds here you can see fenugreek it is called as methi in hindi then coriander called as dhaniya in hindi black pepper that is kali mirch then jeera etc so these are some of the examples but there are a number of spices a number of cereals in your kitchen now some seeds are pulses so here you can see a number of pulses all these pulses are there in your kitchen these pulses are green moong which is very healthy for us when it is sprouted sprouted pulses for example gram then green moong are very good for our health soak it and then sprout it <clears throat> eat it this is a very healthy food for you now conditions necessary for a seed to germinate these conditions are to germinate a seed needs water sunlight air and it also needs soil now after germ uh, after sprouting the seed starts germinating so here 
you can see some stages of germination first stage is the seed is sowed under the soil after some days you will see the seed sprouting if you open this seed this is a bean seed if you open it you will find a embryo inside the two cotyledons then on the next step you will see the seed coat and from the seed coat the seed is coming towards downwards and this is the starting root of the seed then you will see in the fourth picture two cotyledons root going under the soil then in the fifth one you will see leafy structure inside the cotyledons and root going below the soil then in the last one you will see root below the soil and leaves and stem that is above the soil and this is called as shoot it means in the final stage you will find shoot and root root is below the soil and the shoot is above the soil shoot has leaves and stem after that there are some plants which are very different these plants trap and eat insects frogs mice etc one of the example of these type of plants are pitcher plant which is also called as nepenthes it is one of the insectivorous plant a plant which can trap insects these type of plants are found in australia indonesia and meghalaya in our country india it has a pitcher like structure you can see in the pitcher and this pitcher like structure have a leaf attached at the top like a lid as the insect goes inside this pitcher shaped the insect is trapped inside and the lid closes <clears throat> this plants have a very attractive smell and this sweet smell attracts the insects now we will study about parts of a seed a seed has many parts that is epigotyle cotyledon seed coat radicle and hypocotyle now this seed coat is the outer covering of the seed cotyledons are necessary for providing food to the baby plant and you can see the baby plant inside the seed you can see small leaves and radicle which is a small root like structure so this 
baby plant has two parts radical and plumule so where from where does this embryo or the baby plant gets food this embryo or the baby plant gets food from the cotyledons